I should be able to just go through there. Or that. Good afternoon friends and welcome back to the homestead. So today I have a project that I need to do. It's a beautiful day and we do have a storm coming. So I need to hurry up and get this project done before the storm comes. So come on along and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. All right friends, so we're down at our barn and right out in front of the barn we have this apple tree. And this apple tree gave us some pretty nice apples uh, this past summer, but they were small and disformed. So I was told that we need to prune our tree in order to have a better supply for next year or for this year. I'm gonna go ahead and prune this tree and get rid of the, some of these suckers. And hopefully this year we'll have a nicer harvest of apples. All right, friends, so here I have our apple tree and this right here in front of us is a sucker. How you know it's a sucker is that it comes out of a branch and it shoots straight up. So what this is going to do, it is going to suck up all of the tree's energy and it's going to produce fruit on here instead of producing fruit that's on these other limbs that go straight out. So we're going to go ahead and prune this off and hopefully it will put all of its energy into these other branches so we have a better harvest uh, less of a tree that it has to put fruit onto but our fruit should come out a lot better shaped bigger and sweeter this year all right friends so some of the tools that i'm going to be using is this um, handsaw i'm hoping this will work for all of it but if not i have some loppers here I don't know the technical name for them, but this is what I know it as. And these are two things that we had back in California that we used on their trees. Our trees there were much smaller <laughs> and not quite as full as this one. So this worked and it did the job great. But if I have to, I do have a long reach chainsaw over here. And that one I will use if I have to and I can't reach some of the um, other branches that are up there but I'm hoping I should be able to be, a, be able to do it with just this one right here. All right, so this is our pole saw that I have. It is adjustable. I would say it's about 12 feet uh, tall at its largest length. Um, I can bring it uh, shorter, but I do want to use this, but I'm hoping I don't have to because I don't want to accidentally hit another branch that I don't want to cut off with this thing because it is heavy and it's just going to be at a, an odd angle to be holding it. So I do have this, if I have to use it, I can use this. I give up so I'm gonna go with the electric chainsaw because that was a lot harder than I thought and I don't have that much upper body strength <laughs> so let's have fun with this one all right that's the first one we got cut down
All right, we're all done and the tree looks a lot better. It's definitely aired out and we did take down a lot of those suckers. So I'm hoping uh, this summer we have some good harvest from it. And then uh, maybe next year we'll come through and uh, cut some more depending on how it looks this year and where it doesn't produce fruit. We'll go ahead and cut some more, but I'm really happy with how it looks right now. It looks a million times better. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cutting up all these branches that we have here into smaller pieces to put in our burn pile. And then I'm gonna get over to our other apple tree. So thanks for coming by today as we prune our apple tree. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.